In these problems, we're looking at how to figure out um, the areas of sectors and semicircles and the lengths of arcs in circles. These are some, this is some pretty tricky stuff. The first one says, what is the area of the figure? Use 3.14 for pi. Dimensions are in centimeters. Well, let's take this one step at a time. We've got a, a, a rectangle that's 5 by 8, so that area is 40. And then we've got this thing which is a semicircle. And how do I know it's a semicircle? Well, it's got a, a radius in it, and they're telling us it's four, and that point right there shows that that's the center of the circle, and that's on this line. So this is half of an entire circle whose radius was four. How do I figure out the area of that? Well, you should know, or at least be able to look up, the formula for the area of a circle. It's pi r squared. Well, if this is half a circle, all we have to do is use that formula and then cut it in half. So, if this were a full circle, what would the area be? Let's figure that out first. The area would be pi times the radius squared. Well, radius is 4. 4 squared is 16. And told us to use 3.14 for pi. So, we'll multiply that by 16. And I get, for the full circle, I would get 50.24. We're just going to divide that in two. So for the half the circle, I get 25.12. And now I add 40 to that, and for the whole figure, I get 65.12. And then it says dimensions are in centimeters, and this is area, so it's going to be square centimeters. All right. They're only going to get harder here. This one says, what is the length of the arc? And uh, I guess they mean this section right there. Use 3.14 for pi and dimensions are in inches. And what we see here is that it gives us um, the length of a radius. That's useful. And it also tells us the degrees of the arc. The way you want to think about this is that this segment right here, this arc, which is the part around the outside that's cut off by the angle, is some fraction of the whole circumference of the circle. And you know the formula for the circumference of a circle, or if you don't, you can look it up. Circumference equals 2 pi r. So the question then is, what fraction is this length here? Well, let's actually, let's first figure out the, the circumference of this whole circle. It's got a, a radius of 7, so 2 pi 7. So that would be 14 times 3.14, and that looks like 43.96. Now I want to know what fraction of the circle 60 degrees is. So I would ask myself, if I went all the way around, how many degrees would that be? And you should know that all the way around is 360. So if I want to know what fraction this is, I could simply write it as a fraction. 60 degrees out of 360 degrees. And if I, um, you know, did some simplifying here, I could take a 10 out of both, and then it looks like I can take a 6 out of both. It ends up being 1 -sixth. So this is 1 -sixth of the circle. So this arc is going to be 1 -sixth of the circumference. So, and of means multiply, so 1 -sixth times 43.96, which is the same thing as 43.96 divided by 6 which looks like it's about 7.33. And the units are inches, and this is not inches squared because we're just doing circumference. So that's a distance. And so that's 7.33 inches. All right, let's look at one more here. This one asks, what's the area of the sector? And the sector is that whole wedge-shaped piece. So it's the the area inside this wedge shape piece here. Dimensions are in centimeters, use 3.14 for pi, and they give us the radius again. Well, if we want to figure out what the area of this sector is, we need to figure out the area of the whole circle and what fraction of the circle this is. And we just used 60 degrees last time, and we found out that 60 degrees out of a 360 degree circle is 1 -sixth. So we know this is 1 -sixth of the whole circle there. Let's figure out what the area of the whole circle is. Area of a circle equals pi r squared. 
the radius is 9, so the area equals, whoops, equals pi times 81. And that is 254.34. But now we're going to take one sixth of that. So it's one sixth times 254.34, or 254.34 divided by 6, and I get 42.39. And the units here are centimeters, and this is area, so it's square centimeters. So that's a little bit about areas of semicircles, sectors, and lengths of arcs.